Hey guys, so today we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to use this magnetic reactive sheet with the magnetic field generated by a motor. And as we can see, this is more or less what, how this sheet reacts. So this um, magnet, if we put the magnet behind the sheet, the sheet will change color. This thanks to the crystals that this sheet is composed that change light refractivity depending on the magnetic fields. So, to do this, we need a Blush's AC motor, which are usually driven by a three phase, 120 degrees separated waveforms that allow it to create this rotating magnetic field. As we usually see these motors as radial motors, magnetic fields are made radially. The problem of this is that being able to see these magnetic fields is extremely complicated. So the different idea was to use an axial flux motor. So instead of developing these coils radially, develop them axially, so on a 2D plane. By developing the coils in a 2D plane, we could create the coils directly on a PCB to create a PCB axial flux motor. So in this case, I created this PCB through KiCut. As you can see, there's a front coil in the front and another coil in the bottom. This is a dual layer PCB because it costs less. And then I made it very thin, the thinnest I could make with GLC PCB. This is a three phase brushless AC motor, as I was saying before. And the idea is to then pass the current in the three phases at 120 degrees phase shift in an open loop way such that we can put the film on top and see the magnetic fields. So the first thing I did was to just connect two of the three phases to the direct power supply and it forced a certain current. At the same time I placed the magnetic field and I couldn't see anything. Another thing I used to actually check that the coils were creating the right magnetic field was the magnetometer on our phone. I noticed that by placing magnets under the coils, I am able to amplify the magnetic field generated by the coils. In this way, we are able to see the magnetic field. So by doing this, I decided to put the PCB axial flux motor connected to a motor driver. In this case, I used a motor control development board and used motor bench as a development environment to create this open loop rotating reference frame. So, as we can see, I plugged everything up, the three phases, I plugged the 12 volts of the power supply, I placed the magnetic sheet on top of the PCB motor, and then I started to turn on the rotating magnetic field. I started with extremely fast speed, so I couldn't see anything, but by going down to the rotating reference frame to extremely slow speeds, like 1 Hz, 2 Hz, I was able to see the sinusoidal magnetization of the coils, which was extremely interesting. And by changing the intensity of uh, the amplitude of the current I was putting inside, of course I would have also a higher amplitude. This is quite cool because I think it's one of the only experiments that actually shows how to create a, uh, and how to create and how to see a rotating reference frame generated by a AC synchronous motor. I will for sure do more videos working on these axial flux motors. Thank you for watching.